What's up tech, it's Josh here, and this is my annual video of showing off some of the best cases that you can get for your new iPhone. Now, I don't have all the best cases, but I think that these are some really great options, and I'll have a link down below in the video description if you want to check those out for yourself where you can purchase it. I'll also leave some time code links down below, so that way if you wanna to jump to a specific brand, you can go ahead and just jump right to that. Some of these cases were sent to me, and some of them I bought myself, so that way I can show what I think are some great options for you to choose from. I don't want to take up any more of your time, so let's go to dive on in. And I'm not going to start in any particular order, but I kind of go in the order of the stuff that I like to use more than the other. Take how you want with that. Either way, all these are great cases. A lot of them have different features, different ways that you could use them. And that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to go over. I'm not going to get into very detailed kind of stuff. If you want more detail, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to make a dedicated video to that product. The particular phone that I'll be using for this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Most of these case companies make stuff for each model. So if you are interested in a small one like the Pro or even just the iPhone 15, you're going to have that option as well. But what with the big guy here? This is the white titanium and I must say I'm really happy with this colorway. White is probably my most go-to color for a phone. Um, I just like the clean look. It's minimal and I think it looks great with pretty much any kind of case that you want to get for it. I also appreciate the fact that you don't have a shiny edge right here, but we're not doing that the phone review. Let's get into the cases. Out of all these cases, I will do a top three or five depending on how I feel about the cases at the end of this video, but I'm going to give you my top choices at the end. I'll also include that time code link if you just want to jump right to that section. Let's start out with probably the most controversial case out of all these cases is the fine woven case. The reason why it's controversial is because a lot of people just have put a lot of hate towards it. A lot of people don't like it. It's a big deal this year because Apple is no longer offering leather cases. They're trying to have a lesser footprint in that kind of area. That's their own choice, but this is the alternative to what they are providing now. All right, so off the bat, it, it's got like a felt kind of touch to it. It's kind of interesting. So let's see what else comes in the case real quick. Normal documentation, nothing much else. So a little bit of a diagram to show you how to put the phone into the case. Now mind, I do have a tempered glass screen protector installed on this phone and it's from Nomad. I have a whole video about that. And again, link below if you're interested in a screen protector for your phone. It definitely has this nice uh, soft touch. What kind of sucks with the camera, I don't know if it's gonna show for you like this, but on my monitor, it kind of has that more effect. It happens on cameras when there's like a really fine print or fine material that's kind of stitched together. It kind of gives off that effect. So yeah, soft touch. You've got a kind of like a TPU rubber kind of material on the outside for that kind of protection. Of course, you got your MagSafe. Fun fact, my production company is called Evergreen Creative Company. And this color is called Evergreen. So it's kind of like a natural attraction to get this color because of my company but anyways button test and to no surprise it's just fine like i would expect nothing less from apple creating its own products uh but what i do notice is that the cutouts are not even so i'm not a real big fan of that so they should have that like it should be symmetrical to the cutouts in the ports other key features about this is that you got protection around the camera modules it's raised above those areas. So if you do put a face down, you're not going to overall feel like it's a rather protective case. It's not a bulky case either. So if you're looking for something that's not going to take up a lot of footprint, I, I like that side of it a lot. Sometimes rugged cases get a little too big for me, but and I prefer to have something a little bit more minimal. This would definitely cover that. Each case, I'm going to do a MagSafe test. So I've got this Peak Design mobile tripod just for demonstration purposes. This is what it's for. So you just kind of set it on the table, so on and so forth. Do mobile content, video call, whatever. If you're interested in any of these MagSafe accessories, I'll put a link down below as well. But most of all, I just want to see how well it sticks. If I feel like it's just going to slide around. If you've used MagSafe, you know what I mean. This is a wallet that I've used for, I don't know, almost going on three years at this point. I like it a lot. You can fit quite a bit of cards in here. This is just a digital business card that I glued onto that so that way I can have it with me at all times. And then this is a Magback wallet. That all feels pretty good. 
One of the cases that Apple did not change was the silicone case. So I really don't like packaging like that. Just let me open it without tearing up the package. All right, so one of the things that you'll notice with the silicone case is that it has a nice soft touch to it. It's interesting how they make this kind of material. On the inside, it's kind of got that felt material as normal. You got your MagSafe there. This is gonna be a little bit more bendy or flexible kind of material and build quality. I know a lot of people like the silicone cases. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan, but I do like how Apple incorporates the animations when you put these kind of cases on. All right, clickability, nice and tactile, no complaints there. Overall, I mean, like you got good protection. It's raised above the camera module, so you're gonna have that kind of protection as well. It's raised above the screen a little bit, so that way you get that kind of protection. Now the cutouts for this is actually nice and symmetrical, so they did a good job with that. It's actually precise cutouts for the speaker grills and then your charging port. The grip is actually pretty good on these cases. So that's another big factor with this is that it does provide a little bit more grippiness to where you might not fall out of your hand or slide or slip on some kind of surface. That actually seems really good. Charger. And I think that this could actually be stronger, but All right, next up is Nomad Rugged Case. Nomad is one of my go-to case companies that I love using. Even if they didn't send this stuff to me, this is the first case company that I would buy from because I just really love their product. There's pretty much something for everyone. You got rugged cases, you got a sport case, you got your leather cases. You can't go wrong with any of those lineups and this is no exception. So when they came out with this last year, I was like, hmm. This would be really cool. I love the band that they, you can get matching with this. And that's something that's really a neat promo or like effort that they're doing this year is that you can get like, you can match your gear across from your phone to your watch to other kind of accessories. So I really like that kind of effort to be able to mix and match colors or make everything match. Last year, I did not get the Apple Watch Ultra. I went for the Ultra 2 this time. So Nomad wristband here. There's another one that I got to make a uh, another video content about that has the same orange. So I'm going to get all that going as soon as possible. But that's the purpose why I went with this. So I got the orange case so I can have that orange band and match those two things when I want to. I've actually used this. This is the first case that I put onto my phone. The reason why this is the first case that I put onto the phone is because I was going to a Friday night football game. So I was going to be on the field working. Uh, tickets of football video kind of stuff and I needed something a little bit more rugged and in just in case it fell or whatever the purpose is and I thought that that served that purpose really well. So what I like about this is that it's got all kinds of protection around the edges. It's raised above the back, it's raised above the front, the camera modules. I mean you're really well protected with this case. The features that I really liked about this is that I actually feel like the buttons are more tactile or tactile, tactile more? How do you? What's the word? It's more tactile than the Apple cases. The buttons feel really good, very nice clickability. And that's just something I really love and appreciate about like those kind of details and quality that they put into these cases. The thing that you'll also notice with this case is that it is flat on here. So if you care about having a case that doesn't rock on a tabletop, this one's for you. Nomad has done a good job with their cutouts. It's nice and symmetrical. Get full access to your ports, no problems there. Used to be you have to have a cutout for your silent switch, but now it's action buttons, but the action button feels great. Like it's, it's really good. So yeah, I, I really like this case a lot. Normally I don't go with these kind of bold colors, but man, the, the ultra orange is pretty, pretty freaking fire. All right, MagSafe test. This one seems pretty good. Not bad, works great. Seems like that MagSafe is pretty good on this case. All right, so this is probably my all time favorite case that I've used for years at this point. As a matter of fact, I wanna show you the patina that I used on the iPhone 14 Pro. You can see that every year, I don't know if I'm the only one like this, but I get a MagSafe patina effect. You can see where the circle is there. <laughs> so it's interesting, but this was the lighter brown color I loved it. It was uh, it was just a little bit different. I normally go with the darker brown, but I used this one pretty much the most last year. There was two cases that I used the most of, and I'll make a whole separate video about that, but it was the UAG 
case and this one. Those were the two that I used the most last year. So look, fun fact is that between the rugged case and then this leather case, which is Horween weather, by the way, super nice, fine quality. Uh, these were the two cases that I've been using for the last week or two since I've had the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Like my everyday case is gonna be the leather case. That's what I like using the most. And then if I want a little bit more protection, I'll throw on the rugged case. All right, so just like normal, you got your MagSafe connection there. Nice soft material on the inside. Got a nice protection on the outside rim. So you can already see I got some patina going. Little marks here and there. And then the, the color will change a little bit too, like the edges. One of the first things I do once I get a leather case is I really like the new leather smell. Uh, it's just, it's awesome. Button clickability, nice and tactile. Wouldn't expect anything less. The edges are raised above the screen a bit. Again, remember I've got a tempered glass screen protector, so it looks like it's closer than it is, but for the phone itself and the distance between that edge, you got a little bit more than what it seems right here. It's also raised above the camera module. Cutouts are great. No complaints there. Nice and symmetrical. Looks fantastic. MagSafe test with the tripod. Not too bad. The Apple dual charger. Got the MagBack wallet. I never remember how that goes. So that seems to pick it up pretty well. And this wallet. So pretty good overall. Next case I wanna talk about is the Pataka. You're not gonna get much thinner than what this has unless you get a skin. A couple things that you wanna take note of when you're installing this case is that one, it's gonna give you instructions of how to get it installed. And then if you need to uninstall it, they help you out there too. You can scan the QR codes for some video help. You do have MagSafe compatibility, so that way you can charge through there and use different accessories. It's got a nice soft touch to it. It is rather thin. It doesn't bend as much as you think it might, which is a good thing, because that's just the way that this kind of material is. And so what you wanna do is put this to the side and then install it like so. If you really don't wanna add a lot of bulk and you like the size of the iPhone already, you don't want that kind of case bulkiness going on, but you still want some protection, like you can't go wrong with this guy. You have full access to all your buttons. You have full access to the bottom, so no issues with unsymmetrical cutouts. It is raised above the camera module, so you do have that protection and it's slightly raised above the screen too. What I like about this too is like, when you're holding the device, these camera modules here, it kind of gives you a touch point to where it helps you grip the phone more. I've got big hands, and so I can handle the iPhone 15 Pro Max usually pretty well, but it's still a really big phone and not everybody's got the bigger hands like I do. So having that touch point there just helps you grip the phone just a little bit more. And that pretty much goes for any of the cases that I'm talking about today. That actually felt like it picked up pretty good. Pataka does a good job with their MagSafe. I don't think I've ever had a problem with any of their MagSafe stuff. Just works really well. Yep, pretty good. I like it. When you're uninstalling, you pretty much, you just work the corners, get them off the corners, and then it comes off pretty good. Here's another leather case option. It's got a slim profile to it, full grain leather, MagSafe compatible, and you get an option to have a wallet card slot here. Love that new leather smell. All right, so MagSafe compatibility, nice soft material on the inside so it doesn't scratch up the back of your phone. Goes in pretty easy. All right, buttons. Not bad. There's a little bit of stiffness to it. Actually, the best button is the action button. That one feels pretty good. You've got a raised lip above the camera module. Cutouts look really good for the charging port area. And it's slightly raised above the screen, not too much. So another slim profile case. Feels good, smells good. And I like the fact that you can use it for a wallet if you want to. So I try to provide a little bit of variety. Like this is not my style. I don't like having these wallet kind of slots on the back of a phone because I use MagSafe a ton. It's my chargers, my mounts, all that kind of stuff is all MagSafe. So I try to, ooh, I try to provide some, this is why I don't like, 
I mean, it works to a degree, but so far, not that great. It's not even picking up the phone. So yeah, I would recommend steering away from the card back if you like MagSafe. Yep, there's even there's no point in even having MagSafe installed on this case. Looks great, <laughs> um, but if MagSafe isn't a big deal to you, I mean it's nothing to worry about. So you can fit. Looks like one card, two cards, three cards is getting kind of stiff. I want to go beyond three cards for sure. All right, so tried and true brand Autobox. You know Autobox, they've gotten better and better over the years. Really appreciate their ingenuity. So is that even the right way to put it? But this is the commuter case. It's one of those that I've trusted for years at this point. I like the durability of it. A couple of facts that I like about the Otterbox commuter case is that you got two layers of protection. You got a rubber inside and then a hard shell on the outside. The grip is always great with these. So it feels like if you got to use your phone in your hands a lot, it's also not going to slip around. It's just really good build quality in that way. As far as buttons go, it's a little stiff, not too bad. So the tactileness could be better on this case, but you got pretty well good protective case here. You got a port cover for your charging port. So you can cover that up if you're in environments to where you know it's dusty, dirty, even liquids and stuff like that. You get a little extra protection there. Raised above the camera module, raised above the screen. Really solid device. I, I like this a lot. This one does not have MagSafe installed, so I would definitely recommend getting the one that has MagSafe if you if you're interested in OtterBox. Next up is the mouse case, and they make a few different models of this. I went with the one that's most available. I went to Amazon and got this. The one I like the most is the woodback or the leatherback. This is the black speckled one. So even though it's not the one I normally get, I get to experience it and kind of go over it with you. So it's got like a rubber mouse pad bottom feel to it is the probably the best way I could describe it. So nice and grippy. So that's another great fact about that. You got these ridges here on the edge. So that adds to the grip ability as well. The MagSafe on the mouse cases have been really solid in the past. So I won't be surprised if it's that good or even better. One of the things that I've really appreciated about mouse cases is that it's a really tight fit. So it feels like it's definitely conformed to the device itself and it's a great fit every time. So the buttons feel really nice to tactile. I like that a lot. That's a good job. They also have a couple of things that you don't see on every case is that you got a lanyard loop here. So if you wanna put that on your case, I never do that, but some people might like that. If you need to put it around your wrist or whatever to keep you from dropping it. The camera module is protected slightly. It seems like it's like flush with the, the lenses itself. It might be slightly raised above it. As far as the screen goes, it is raised above the screen. The cutouts are nice and precise on the bottom. Yeah, overall it feels like a really great case. Like this one, I would, I would definitely recommend it for just how, just to fit, just, I, it's hard to explain it unless you just hold it and put it onto your phone. But this, out of all the cases so far, and even just in the past, it just feels like it fits really good. Oh yeah. You can hear the attach attachness. Yeah, yeah, feels good. Yeah, MagSafe definitely passes the test. Next up we got UAG and their Machopus LT case. It's made of a Kevlar. This going back to what i was saying before is the model case that i used the most last year between it and the nomad leather case the things i like about this case is that it's got that nice material on the back i'm a big fan of materials i don't like plastic or clear cases just because of the i don't know it just gets kind of grimy slippery the other standout parts that i like about this case is that it's got a lot of different ridges and kind of areas to where it creates more touch points to where you're able to grip the phone more, you feel more comfortable with it, it just feels good in the hand. Tactileness on the buttons are great. They design these buttons a little bit different than most case companies. You can kind of see that there's a little sliver, like most button covers are completely covered up, but that's what helps with the tactileness and with these kind of cases. As far as the cutouts go, nice and symmetrical, no complaints there. 
here you can kind of see the different sizes here to get extra reinforcement on the corners. A lot of drops happen on the corners, so having that extra drop protection is really good. With the speaker grill right here, you can see a little bit of extra detail there to where it's not gonna get any kind of blockage there. They do add some branding, but the branding to me looks fantastic. It's one of the better branding designs that I've seen on cases. So I'm not against that. Normally I don't like to see branding, but they do a good job with theirs. It's one of the better mags, mags, mag safes, magnets. Next up is MagVac, and I think that this is a great alternative to the silicone Apple case. If you don't want to buy Apple case, if you want to go a different direction, or you just don't like their designs, whatever the reason might be, you, this I think is one of the better options to go with. And the reason why I say that is it's got the same kind of soft feel to it, but it has, it's a little extra thick, if that makes sense. All right, so you get a few extra accessories when you get this, is that you get this little mag sticks is what they call it and you can put this anywhere you can put it on whatever kind of surface your kitchen your car whatever while it doesn't have like a felt material it's still not gonna be a material that impacts or damages your phone all right so it installs pretty nice very tactile button so that that just makes me happy <laughs> i don't know why like, it, I won't use a case if it has stiff buttons. That's just me, but let me know if you're the same way. So overall, you got a raised lip above the camera module. It's raised above the screen. You've got precise cutouts pretty much across the whole case. Speaker grill, charging port, the earpiece. MagSafe test. And MagBack might have, I would say probably, <laughs> it's actually it takes quite a bit of effort to get it off. I think probably the best MagSafe uh, magnets out there. I mean, it ain't dropping. Like, I don't know if you can hear it or even see like the resistance. Try to listen out. Like hear that, that's, it's impressive. My main complaint, I guess you could say about these silicone cases is that they end up kind of getting fingerprinty. You know, everybody's gonna have finger residue. <laughs> Sounds gross, but uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. So you're gonna end up seeing a little bit of that grime going on. You're gonna wanna keep a wipe handy. All right, so let's talk about Totally, and we've got four different cases here, pretty much just different colors. So we're gonna take a look at these, and the thing I like about these cases is, you know, one, you're gonna be the person that doesn't care about MagSafe because they're not gonna have it on here. But if you wanna keep a really slim profile on your phone without getting a skin, like you can't get much thinner than this. The Pataka, it's like really thin and really protective, but this is just really thin. So this is gonna help kind of protect against those scrapes and scratches versus more drops. All right, so basically you got clear, frost, blue and black here. Other colorways are optional at their website. So again, links below. If you want a clear case and you want that minimal design, if you really like the look of your iPhone, like this is probably a good option for you. The thing I don't like about the clear cases with the MagSafe stuff is like, I don't like seeing on the outside the MagSafe circle. Like, I just don't like that. I think it looks tacky to me, but to each their own, right? All right, so very minimal, but this thing has some great grip to it. Like you hold it, you feel like you're not gonna drop it just the way that your skin just adheres to the case. Very nice and grippy. All right, as far as tactileness goes, not too bad. Now this is a little different though. You can see the action button has a cutout versus a button. So I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of that. They're acting like there's a switch there, but it's just a button. So you kind of have to reach into it to activate it. I mean, it's not terrible. It does work, but I definitely feel like it needs to have a button there instead of a cutout. As far as other protection items go, it is raised above the camera module. So you do get that level of protection. Cutouts for the speaker grill looks good to me, as well as the charging port. 
All right, so this has definitely got a lot smoother surface. Not necessarily slippery, but it's definitely smooth. Not as grippy as this guy. Now these have cutouts for all the buttons here. It does not have a button. So, but they're still really accessible. You're not gonna have a problem using the buttons at all. Nice precise cutouts for the speaker grill and the charging port. Now these are gonna be the exact same thing. I'm just gonna put it on here so you can see what it looks like. Which color do you like the most? Hmm, if I don't only pick one, I probably would go with this black one. I like the black and white look. All right, so we got another batch of basically like clear case options. None of these have MagSafe installed either. And they're made by Rinke and another great brand that I've been able to work with over the last few years. And so if you, again, if you don't care about MagSafe, these are some options to go for. This one is the air case. With these clear cases, you could put like a photo or a design or sticker, and you can kind of customize it to your liking. Just some ideas that you could do with this. But you are gonna get some raised edge protection against the, the lens modules. Nice grippy foam. You got a button on all, yep, button on all the buttons. Button on all the buttons, that doesn't make sense. You got covers on all the buttons. A tad bit of stiffness. More so on the volume rockers. The power button feels good. Action button's got a little stiffness to it as well. It is raised above the screen too. Looks like you got precise cutouts for your bottom ports. So this is the Fusion. And this one's a little bit different. It's, got a, it's gonna be more clear. <laughs> and what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you got these pull tabs here so we can remove the film on the outside and on the inside. I'm glad that they do this. This is in a, like an improvement from years past. In the past, they didn't have these little tabs to pull from, and it was a pain in the butt to get those off. It would, it would take me longer to peel that stuff off than to actually do a whole showcase of the on the video. <laughs> this has a little bit of a soft frost kind of look to it. Buttons are pretty much the same as the other case. Cutouts are primarily the same too. Now, another difference is that this has like a rounded edge on the air case. This has a little bit more of a lip, so it's not rounded off, it's got a hard edge. And you got lanyard cutouts here too, if you wanna stick a lanyard through there. One of the differences with this case is that it's got some texture on the side, so it's gonna add to that grippy kind of texture that you might wanna look for. And actually, I really like the the black rim, it looks pretty cool, especially with this white iPhone. These buttons actually feel better than the other ones. So this material on the this outer edge, I guess it's just a little bit more friendly with the buttons. So you can see the major difference with this case is that it's got that kind of frost back to it. And again, another Fusion, and this is the clear. This though, looks like it's got a little card slot on it. Buttons feel pretty tactile, not bad. So this is kind of interesting. So I don't know if you'd want to put more than one card, but <laughs> the Apple card looks kind of cool in here with the white iPhone. Got a little push tab there. Not too difficult to get out. All right, next up is VRS Design, another brand that I've been working with for quite a long time at this point. Almost since the beginning of the channel. I don't have a pull tab here. And then have tape on the side too. I don't know if you remember OnePlus One. That phone, when it came out, was one of my all time favorite phones. Mostly for the fact, one, it was just a cool concept of, first of all, but the sandstone back was so cool to me. I loved it. Talk about grippiness, I mean, it feels so good. I, I love textures, like I said. And this, this is cool. I like it a lot. It definitely adds some weight to the phone. That's one of the noticeable differences between the other cases that I've been talking about. Mm. <laughs> feels so cool. All right, so buttons, nice and tactile. This has a full cutout for the action button though, so that's kind of different. You gotta reach your thumb in there to get that activated. I bet they weren't expecting the action button because also look, it's not very symmetrical cutout either. You can kind of see how it's not centered into that. So I bet they thought that was gonna be a switch. 
It still works, it still functions, but little minor detail there. Get a lanyard cut out here. It's like fine sandpaper. It's cool, I like it. I'm gonna stop, grew up in this case. Anyways, uh, raised above the camera mods. It's very rugged looking uh, case. Like it's definitely raised above the screen. You can see that quite a bit. Cutouts for the bottom ports are pretty good too. Other than like the minor little things like the cutouts not being symmetrical, like that makes this just that much more impressive. And it picks up pretty good. Like it's a, like I said, it's got some weight, add some weight to this phone. But it still picks up pretty good. I'm impressed. So I'm a fan of ecosystem, I guess is probably the best way to put it. And so if you like the sandstone back on the phone, you might like a sandstone wallet. Ah, MagSafe, this is so cool. So they got a sandstone MagSafe wallet. Let's do two credit cards and ID. And that should be about right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And if you need to get the cards out, pretty easy there. I like that. Time for my top picks. This is gonna be a tough one. There's a lot of good ones here. And what's neat about just the different case arrangement that is even here, it's like they all kind of have their own benefits or perks. You can kind of guess putting them in an arrangement that I like the most. All right, so here we go. Anything without MagSafe is already just kind of put off to the side because I have to have MagSafe. If I was gonna go between the two silicone case options, probably gonna go MagBack. I think the magnet's a bit stronger. Fine woven, it's a cool concept, but I just think there's better case options out there for the money. It's not a premium material, like leather is considered a premium material. So I kind of have to put that one off to the side. So I'm definitely more likely gonna use this one the most. The modern leather case, the Horween leather made by Nomad. If you want a leather case for your phone, like you can't get it from Apple now, go Nomad. You're not gonna be disappointed. Again, like it's the most used one I've had for years at this point. Number one is definitely the Nomad modern leather case. This is a tough choice between the Nomad Rugged case and the mouse case along with UAG. That's really tough. Like I love the Kevlar. I like the ruggedness and the rigidness of that kind of stuff. I love the form, the fitting of the mouse case. Can I have a tie between the like number two case? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Number one is the leather case. Tied for second place is three different cases and I'll get a third place to Pataka. How's that? <laughs> There's some good options out of this whole lineup. Let me know what your favorite ones are down in the comments because I'm really curious to see which ones, if you could only pick one or maybe two cases out of this whole batch, what would you pick? All right, this took over an hour and a half to make this, just record it, let alone have it edited this thing yet. Thank God that the weather is not as hot as what it's been because it'd be steaming in the studio right now. So that means I am kicking the AC back on. And it's time to clean up this mess. Oh man, too many videos to edit. So, I mean, you can tell which one's my top favorite because I'm taking this one back out of the packaging to the back on, put it back on the phone. That's what I had on it before I did this whole video.